Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, you King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sing the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people, Israel, may we in your offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai, bless Oops. May Adonai make his presence here and lend you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is, we got two of them. 2 Corinthians 8, 1 through 15, and Revelations 15, 1 through 4. With our first read being 2 Corinthians 8, 1 through 15. We want you to know, brothers, about the grace of Elohim that has been given among the churches of Macedonia. For in several tests of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For they gave according to their means, as I can testify, and beyond their means, of their own accord, begging us earnestly for the favor of taking part in the relief of the saints. And it's not as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord, and then to the will of Elohim to us. According, we urge Titus that as he started, so he should complete among you this act of grace. But as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all earnestness, and in all our love for you, see that you excel in this act of grace also. I say this is not a command, but to prove by the earnestness of others that you love also. your love also is genuine. For you know the grace of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that, by, so that you by his poverty might become rich. And in this matter I give my judgment, for this benefits you who a year ago started not only to do this work, but also to desire to do it. So now finish doing it as well, so that your readiness and desiring it may be matched by your completing it out of what you have. For if the readiness is there, it is acceptable according to what a person has, not according to what he does not have. For I do not mean that others should be ease and you burden but that, as a matter of fairness, your abundance at the present time should be, should supply their need, so that their abundance may supply your need, that they may be, f that there may be fairness, as it is written: Whoever gathered much had nothing left over, and whoever gathered little had no lack. Revelation fifteen one through four. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, for with them the wrath of Elohim is finished. And I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mingled with fire, and also those who had been conquered the beast in its image and a number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass with harps of Elohim in their hands. And they sung the song of Moses, the servant of Elohim, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord Elohim the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will fear, who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. <laughs> Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bruka Tau Adonai Elohim, Malak Alom. As Natan Lanu, Tredi Met Vaishi Alom, Natabetikin, Bruka Tau Adonai, Tina Torah. 